Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a get ready with me makeup tutorial. So if you follow me on my blog, you know that I like experimenting with different products. Um, so I just thought I would do kind of a get the look video with me. So I'm starting out with the Trish McAvoy Beauty Balm in shade 1. And this is kind of a great product for people with sensitive skin. I'm just using my fingers to blend this in because it's easier that way for me. And get a little mirror out. So I absolutely love this beauty bomb. It blends into the skin really nicely and it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin and I feel like it evens out a lot of the redness in my skin which I love. You just want to gently mix it into your skin. You don't want to go harsh. So once that is all rubbed in, it looks good. Um, so once that's all rubbed in, I'm going to switch to doing my eye makeup. So I have the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer that I put on my lids. Otherwise the shadow won't stick to my eyelids, it'll just run off. So I just use this eyeshadow primer to keep the shadow on my eyes. It makes a world of a difference and also helps prevent creasing. So once I have that on my eyelids, I'm just gonna put some eyeshadow on my eyes. So I have a Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. Um, I've had this for ages, probably for three years now. And it's lasted me a long time. Um, so I'm gonna put Honey Pot on my eyelids. I'm using one of the MAC brushes, it's the 217. So we got that nice golden color, the honey pot on my eyelids and I kind of worked it into the crease and above right here. And then I'm going to take the heaven color and just put it in the top part underneath my eyebrows. Just kind of blend it. And then I'm going to do a slight eyeliner um, with the MAC 219 brush, I think it is. And I'm going to use the color Sexpresso. Line the eyes. So I didn't go all the way in, I just went to about here on the bottom, but I did all the way the top, or all the way around the top. So got both eyes done now. Um, so then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do my brows. So I have the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills in soft brown. I absolutely love this. It's so cool. Um, she makes great brow products. So I'm just going to use this end, the spoolie end, and then the um, color end. So I'm going to take the spoolie end and just brush out my brows. 
And then I'm gonna take the soft brown crayon and just fill in my brows a little bit. So I just do short, featherweight, hair-like strokes throughout my brows. You don't want anything too drastic. You just wanna, you know, give a little drama to your brows. Um, and then you take the spoolie end and brush up and out. So you kind of want to brush in the direction of the way your hair grows. And I actually haven't had my eyebrows waxed probably since 2014 before my wedding. Um, so I've been trying to grow them in thicker. And I do want to get them done again. It's just a matter of finding someone I can trust. I don't want to get a wax though. I want to go to a person that professionally grooms the brow so they, they might pluck and trim, but I'm not going to go to someone that threads and I'm not going to go to someone that waxes. So again, I'm just doing these featherweight or feather like strokes, not featherweight. I don't know what I'm saying. So they can get the brows done, so that's good. Um, next, I want to do, um, I think I'm gonna do my mascara next. So I have the Shishido Eyelash Curler. So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes on both sides. And then I'm gonna put mascara on. I have Clinique High Impact Mascara. Um, I think I got this as a free sample from Sephora this year. And I definitely need a new thing of mascara because this is running out. So that's one layer. I think I'll put another layer on. So we have that done. Oh, it's my left eye. I have such a hard time putting mascara on on my left eye. Does anyone else have that problem if you're a righty? or a lefty or the opposite side so it is um, always so much harder to do. I'm sure a lot of people do. All right, so we got the mascara done. Cool. Um, next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna conceal a little bit on my face. So I'm so upset about Mira discontinuing this acne concealer stick. No, I'm just gonna use what I have left of it on a little blemish that I have on my face. And then I have a Makeup Forever Full Cover Extreme Cap Cam what is it Extreme Camouflage Cream Concealer um, that I use as well. I'm just going to use that to cover up some old scarring on my face for acne. Just going to slightly dab it in my finger. My neighbor's dog is barking like crazy outside. So I apologize if you can hear that. And I got one little spot right here I have. And one up here. All right, so I got that all in. And then I'm just gonna use a little of the Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier 
matte translucent powder. I'm gonna put it on my nose, my forehead, and around the chin. Oh, sorry. So just like that. And then next I'm gonna take the Trish McAvoy Instant Eye Lift and put it underneath my eyes. And this is to help cover up my dark circles that I have. There's the right eye, and I'm going to do the left eye now. I'm just very lightly dabbing it in, or tapping it in, around the eye area. So now that uh, that's all in, I think I'm going to put on some blush, some blush and some lipstick, my favorite part. All right, so I have this Tata Harper blusher that I got as a free sample um, with some beauty products that I bought this year. Um, and I'll, I'll link everything down below, all the products. So I forget what color this is because it's not labeled, but I can look it up on her website and then write it in the description of the video. So it's just this, it's like a reddish color, it's so pretty. And a little bit really goes a long way with this. So I'm just gonna smile and put it on my um, cheeks. You really have to blend it out. Right now it looks like a clown, but I'll fix that. So I've got the blush on and you can actually use this as a lip tint as well which I really love but today I'm gonna put MAC Velvet Teddy on my lips as a finishing touch Right, so I think that's the finished makeup look. Uh, I hope you like it. Comment below with any questions or let me know if this is stupid. And I hope you have a good day. All right, thanks for tuning in. Bye.